Today I am honored to present our research on the influence of the number of neighbors on the clustering magic by oscillatory chaotic neural network with deep synaptic connections. Without further ado, let's explore how our study can help us understand clustering better. We are investigating how different clustering measures change based on the number of nearby connections. By using metrics like adjusted trend index and silhouette coefficient, we hope to make clustering algorithms more effective in real-world situations. Chaos is a phenomenon of complex, uh, unpredictable and random behavior arising from simple deterministic nonlinear systems. Leveraging the principle of chaos and neural networks allows us to solve complex problems in various fields. We direct the chaotic dynamics of the network so that neurons organize themselves into synchronized clusters. Note that neurons within each cluster oscillate in a coordinated manner, while neurons within different clusters may oscillate independently or demonstrate different synchronized patterns. As this slide shows the math behind our study. We have formulas for two types of connection in our neural network, Dipole and Gaussian. Plus, we have the evolutionary equation that guides how our network changes over time. Uh, we run this equation multiple times, uh, starting from a random setup. We start with a random number between minus 1 and 1, then run an evolutionary equation t, t times. We split this process into two parts. First, a quick phase where we uh, set things up, then a longer phase where we collect data about uh, how each neuron oscillates. Uh, we convert this data into bits using a function. If a neuron's output uh, goes beyond the threshold of 0, we assign it a value of 1, otherwise it gets 0, indicating whether it fires or not. Uh, from uh, this runs, uh, we calculate an information matrix. This matrix shows uh, how much two neurons share information. If two neurons oscillate together, uh, the initial information between them is highest. But if their oscillations are chaotic, this value drops to zero. This helps us identify different types of interactions between neurons and find clusters based on their oscillation patterns. Clusters are like group of neurons that stick together. We find them by setting a threshold value theta. If theta is very low, close to the smallest value information matrix, all points belong to one big cluster. If it's high, close to the largest value in information matrix. Each point from its own cluster. But the most interesting case is when theta is in between, as it shows us a group of neurons that oscillate together. Uh, when studying how the number of neighbors uh, affect OCNN clustering, choosing the right matrix is crucial. Uh, in our research, uh, we rely on the adjusted rank index and split coefficient. Adjusted rent index is vital as it evaluates uh, the agreement between true classes and clusters. What makes a really stand out is the uh, ability to adjust for random agreements, ensuring reliability cluster accuracy even with diverse class distributions. It's an improved version of the rent index, which measures overlap between two sections. Uh, meanwhile, the solid coefficient assessed how compact and separate objects are within clusters. It provides insight into both the shape and distance between clusters. A high uh, solid coefficient indicates successful clustering, with clear distinction between groups. In our work, uh, we have employed four distinct uh, datasets. Atom, illustrating linear inseparability. Uh, Wingnut, demonstrating small inter-cluster and large intra cluster distances, two diamonds presenting a weakly connection clusters, and NG time that showing overlapping uh, clusters of different densities. Uh, our experiment aimed to determine the ideal number of neighbors for various network and dataset stops to optimize clustering. By systematically adjusting neighbor counts in interactive clustering runs, we access uh, their impact on uh, clustering quality. To reduce uh, randomness, we average a uh, clustering matrix over five initial conditions, uh, answering more reliable results. Ultimately, we seek to uncover the best parameters for accurate clustering in slittery chaotic neural networks, enhancing our understanding of uh, this relationship across different datasets. 
Uh, the item dataset present challenges due to linear inseparability in Cartesian space. As the number of nearest neighbors increases, maintaining a constant array metric value requires inherent clustering resolution. High neighbor counts enable networks with Gaussian connections to descend thinner distribution among data points, forming clearer clusters. In the left figure, the parameter window size theta for the maximum array metric value expands with the increasing nearest neighbor in Gaussian synaptic networks uh, until a threshold, approximately k equal to 75, where it decreases, uh, indicating potential false cluster detections due to excessive network complexity. In contrast, a uh, network with deeper uh, connections exhibit less sensitivity to neighbors count uh, chains, with a smaller maximum window size compared to synaptic networks. As this is suggested, the deeper network can only identify a uh, coarser uh, distinction among the data. In the wing data set, clustering poses a challenge due to its unique wide distribution, where inter cluster distances are small compared uh, to intra-cluster distances. This complexity can hire traditional algorithms' ability to distinguish closely spaced clusters while preserving clear separation. Uh, notably, the network with deep synaptic connections achieved uh, superior array values in this dataset. Uh, this superiority is attributed to the network's uh, prioritization of nearby points, a characteristic more pronounced in deep connection compared to Gaussian connections. Uh, the two-diamond dataset preserves a unique wide challenge uh, with clusters almost touching at their corners, making it hard for standard algorithm to identify the cyber tool uh, separation between them. The uniform distribution of points within each diamond of uh, complexity requires nonlinear method for effective Clustering. While networks with Gaussian connections offer a wider clustering resolution window for two diamonds, uh, networks with deeper connections require fewer nearest neighbors. This enables them to discern clusters with high precision even with a limited number of neighbors. Anki time presents a challenging scenario with overlapping clusters, where traditional algorithms struggle uh, due to unclear boundaries and a Gaussian mixture distribution. Effective clustering requires method cap capable of uh, capturing density information and designing the data uh, underlying structure. In any time, network with Gaussian connection uh, outperforms this with deep connections at lower values of nearest neighbors. This difference stems from the dataset's complexity, necessitating the uh, consideration of density information. Third, Gaussian connections prove more effective for datasets uh, with linear inseparation uh, or intricate topology. It has been established that a slattery chaotic neural network with deep synaptic connections between neurons are novel networks that can solve clustering tasks for a wider range of datasets, regardless of their complexity, compared to network with Gaussian synaptic connection between neurons. It has been demonstrated that a network with deep connections uh, proves to be more flexible and less sensitive uh, to the number of nearest neighbors compared to the network with Gaussian synaptic connections. These characteristics make it particularly effective for datasets, where it's important to consider complexity due to the small inter-cluster distances compared to the large inter-cluster distances. It has been determined that networks with Gaussian synaptic connection have a larger clustering window and a higher resolution compared to networks with these deeper connections. This allows them to detect even small differences between data points. They are effective for datasets where complexity is due to linear inseparability or spatial structure. It has been identified that the optional number of neighbors for each network and dataset is crucial to achieving the maximum resolution window and the uh, maximum value of the clustering quality metric.